Very good evening and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued Edict No. 15 of 2019 amending Article 1 of Edict 30 of 2014 regarding writing off electricity, water and municipal areas on some of the deceased subscribers with a maximum of two years before death. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued a circular regarding Eid al Abha holiday. The Kingdom's ministries, directorates, and official institutions will be closed on August the 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th, including Arafah and Eid's first, second, and third days. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Qadabiya Palace heads of diplomatic missions and representatives of international organizations accredited to the Kingdom of Bahrain, where they congratulated His Royal Highness on the United Nations adoption of His Royal Highness's initiative by declaring the 5th of April as the International Day of Conscience. His Royal Highness called to strengthen the efforts of the international community to establish peace for the people, stressing that Bahrain's approach is consistent in its individual to establish peace and to pursue the path of development. The Prime Minister affirmed that the Kingdom has gained respect in the international arena for its balanced policies and moderate approach in dealing with various regional and international issues. His Royal Highness stressed that Bahrain supports all efforts that aim to enhance peace and stability, especially in light of regional and international developments that require comprehensive coordination at all levels.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia delivered this speech on the occasion. ويسعدنا قبول مبادرتنا دوليا وذلك من قبل الأمم المتحدة في تعيين يوم 5 أبريل يوما للضمير الدولي أيها الأخوة المتغيرات الأقليمية والدولية تتطلب منا تنسيق شامل على مختلف المستويات ونتطلع إلى عالم يسوده السلام والاستقرار وتتكاتف فيه جهود دول العالم للمضي في طريق التنمية المستدامة وشكرا صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير خليفة بن سلمان الخليفة رئيس الوزراء حفظه الله أصحاب السمو والمعالي والسعادة السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته في البداية أصالة عن نفسي ونيابة عن زملائي أصحاب السعادة السفراء أن أرفع لمقام سموكم الكريم أسمى آيات التهاني بمناسبة إقرار منظمة الأمم المتحدة اعتماد الخامس من ابريل من كل عام يوما عالميا للضمير. وذلك استجابه للمبادره التي اطلقها سموكم الكريم. ان اعتماد اليوم العالمي للضمير ياتي امتدادا لجهود سموكم حفظكم الله الدؤوبه لتحقيق السلام وتعزيز قيم ومبادئ التسامح والتعايش. وتحقيقا لاهداف التنميه المستدامه لمملكه البحرين وللمنطقه وللعالم اجمع ويضيف الى اسهامات وانجازات سموكم الكريم في كافه المجالات ويؤكد في الوقت ذاته على ما تحظى به شخصيه سموكم الكريم من مكانه وثقل دوليه تقديرا لمبادرات وجهود سموكم الداعمه لارساء السلام العالمي ويؤكد للنهج الإصلاحي الشامل في مملكة البحرين الذي اختطه ويقوده حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البحرين حفظه الله ورعاه في تعزيز قيم ومبادئ التسامح والتعايش وثقافة السلام والأمن هذا النهج يعزز مكانة مملكة البحرين في المجتمع الدولي ودورها الفاعل والمؤثر في دعم جهود تعزيز السلام والتسامح والتعايش ومكافحة كافة أشكال التعصب والعنف والإرهاب ختاماً أسأل الله العلي القدير أن يحفظ سموكم الكريم ويديم عليكم الصحة والعافية لمواصلة هذا النهج والجهد تحقيقاً لما يصب إليه ويقوده صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البحرين وأن يحفظ مملكة البحرين آمنة راغدة مستقرة والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته The heads of diplomatic missions and representatives of international organizations who congratulated His Royal Highness on the United Nations adoption of his initiative and described him as a wise and inspiring symbol for all Arab countries and peoples, adding that this initiative highlights his support of humanity. The ambassador of Palestine, Nataha Mohammed Abdul Qadir, affirmed that the UN's adoption of His Royal Highness's initiative is an important historical milestone for Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations. 
The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, hailed the agreement signed between the Ministry of Youth and Sports and Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, the BACA, aimed at increasing cooperation between the two sides to preserve sports heritage. His Highness Sheikh Nasser witnessed signing the agreement, which establishes the administrative and organizational framework concerned with developing cooperation in the youth sports and cultural fields. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman bin Tawfiq al-Mu'ayyad, affirmed that signing the Memorandum of Understanding embodies the close cooperation between the Ministry of Youth and Sports and the BACA and reflects their keenness on continuing to bolster this cooperation. The President of BACA, Sheikh Amay bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, commended the cooperation with the Ministry of Youth and Sports, praising the role of the Minister in implementing the agreement to promote joint action. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the meeting of the new Supreme Council for Youth and Sports in the presence of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Youth and Sports, Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Mu'ayyad, on the occasion of restructuring the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and the new members of the Council. The Council announced the directives. Of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to find the proper solutions for all suspended financial issues of players, technicians, administrators, and club debts. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the royal decree to restructure the council. Upon His Majesty's speech at the opening of the legislative and executive term and in continuation of the initiative launched in 2018 called the Year of Gold, His Highness announced that Bahraini sports will enjoy the name of the Golden Age, His Highness welcomed the members of the Council in its new session, recalling the efforts of its previous members, wishing them all success. He also conveyed the greetings and appreciation of His Majesty the King to the Council members, noting that this confidence is moving towards the upward development of the youth and sports sector. The Council welcomed the recommendations of His Highness Sheikh Nasser to assign His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rajd Al Khalifa as the Chairman for the Coordination, Implementation and Follow-up Committee. Upon the directives of His Majesty the King, His Honor Sheikh Nasser, directed the Minister of Youth to find the proper solutions for all suspended financial issues of players, technicians, administrators, and club debts and protect their rights. The Council recommended establishing a sports fund and begin the formal procedures required, which is considered with managing and investing in Bahraini athletic assets and increasing the revenue to support the athletic movement. His Honor Sheikh Nasser directed to name the sports fund Tumuh and to activate the supervisory role of the Ministry of Youth on operating clubs, federations and the Olympic Committee to not conflict with the Olympic Charter and international regulations. His Highness directed the Ministry of Works to change the term of elderly to senior citizens in Bahrain. The Council activated the rights of clubs to their membership in sports federations after licensing the sports activity specified by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs. Four main activities were also approved for registration in the Ministry of Youth and Sports. His Highness Sheikh Nasser directed the Minister to coordinate with the Ministry of Education on studying the provision of sports facilities for sports use. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم احنا اولا نتشرف بالثقه الساميه لاعاده اولا انتخابنا في المجلس الاعلى للشباب والرياضه كونك رئيس لهذا المجلس بتكليف من سيدي حضره صاحب الجلاله وايضا بجميع الاعضاء الموجودين معنا في هذا المجلس كل واحد منهم يضيف لنا قيمه مضافه لهذا المجلس بارائهم وافكارهم وخبرتهم ايضا في مجالات عملهم اللي هي ان شاء الله راح تخدم الامر السامي بتطوير هذا القطاع الشبابي والرياضي في نفس الوقت. بالنسبه لاجتماعنا الاول اليوم اجتماع جدا مميز كان مكثف وطويل ناقشنا في مواضيع كثيره واهمها طبعا هي معالجه بعض النواقص وبعض التحديات اللي احنا نواجهها وخاصه بعض التحديات الانديه والالتزامات اللي عليها وهذه كان جزء من المواضيع واخرى ايضا تنمويه واخرى ايضا قانونيه واخرى ايضا مشاريع تواكب طموحاتنا واحلامنا ان احنا نرتقي بالمستوى الرياضي والشبابي الى العالميه فان شاء الله بهذا الثقل اللي شفته اليوم معاي في هذا المجلس احنا نعد ان شاء الله جلاله الملك وقيادتنا الرشيده وكل شخص 
مهتم في القطاع الشبابي والرياضي وكل شاب وشابه ان احنا ان شاء الله عند هذه المهمه وعند هذه الثقه الساميه وان ان شاء الله احنا نرتقي معاهم للعالميه باذن الله. Over 9,000 secondary school students are conducting community service in 165 governmental institutions during the current school year. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, visited a number of institutions in which students are conducting community service, where he viewed the tasks they are performing as part of their training. The subject has been implemented to enable students to perform a number of skills and abilities and develop their values of interdependence and tolerance. The Minister stated that the students who participate participated in community service during the past years have achieved honorable results through their commitment to performing their duty optimally, adding that the ministry has received many letters of thanks and commendation from governmental institutions for the students' efforts. The Egyptian Embassy in Bahrain held a ceremony celebrating the 67th anniversary of July the 23rd revolution in the presence of diplomatic corps, members accredited to the kingdom and a number of officials and businessmen. The Egyptian ambassador to Bahrain, Suha Brahim, hailed the outstanding bilateral relations in all fields, highlighting the development they witness in all domains. She noted the support the Egyptian community in Bahrain receives, which reflects the deep-rooted bilateral relations.